Is on. Welcome to the Big Coach Leonard Parker on-site interview. And we're at Baker High today with Coach James D'Artez. And he's the head boys football coach at Baker. Now, Coach D'Artez has been in the uh, education system for eight years in the classroom. But he's been coaching for 15. Now, he was born and raised in Opelousas. But uh, he's right now at Baker High. And he's the founder of home. Now, he went to Southern University and played under Coach Dooley. That was one of his position coaches. But guess what? He ended up graduating from ULL. He has a heck of a heck of a resume for his his lineages, lineages, lineage, and where he's had traveled. Uh, but I'm gonna let him tell you about that. Coach, thank you for coming to the show. I appreciate for having. Me. All thank right, you. coach. Coach, where you started? I heard you started at, at Southern Lab. Yes, sir. And maybe you could tell me a little bit about that. Well, uh, my mentor, Coach Michael Roach, uh, gave me an opportunity when he had no reason to give me one. Mm -hmm. uh, but I started out at uh, Southern Lab. I was 19 years old. Uh, that done. was my first 20. That was my first high school coaching job. Uh, after that, uh, he took me to Madison Prep. Right. He actually started the program. They didn't play ball through the football. They did all basketball. basketball. It was basketball and track. Jarrell Martin, coach. I don't yes, know if you remember that name. State player of the year. Yeah, yeah man. Oh, yeah. That. The, 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 and so football was just started. Yes, yeah, so we ordered the first time with the shoulder thing. Yes, and then within four years, Madison Prep played for the state championship. Mm. So I actually got to see both sides of that. I worked at one of the most historical high schools in the country in Southern Lab and actually built the program from scratch down in Madison Prep. And that, that, was, that was, like I said, one of the most amazing uh, experiences that I got to do. Like from, from the bottom. From the bottom. You could do it. All right, uh, all right. I also got to work at uh, LSU for six and a half years. I worked at the Tiger Athletic Foundation. Uh, actually, my office was across from Skip Burton. Yes, Athletic indeed. Director, uh, world famous baseball coach. Yeah. And got a chance to actually learn what it is to be a coach. <coughs> Legend. What it learns to be the business side of school. Yeah. So that, that was something that was just, again, invaluable. Stepping in your right now as a net director. Yes, sir. Yes, yes indeed. Uh -huh. um, and then I got to work in recruiting at my alma mater at ULA. Mm. So I got to do recruiting over there. And that, that was fun, you know, kind of breaking through film, uh, putting recruiting guys together, you know what I'm saying, giving a coach that's on the road, just kind of the, 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 the hot picks of that. So you, got, you got a lot right there, Coach. You got the legendary program, Southern Lab. Then you, you started a program at Madison Prep, which has become a legendary program. You then went to LSU and saw the business side of being a letter director, and then the recruiting side, man, you, you got a little bit of everything right there, Coach. Yeah, I tell everybody, I'm not the smartest man in the room, but I've been around some great people yeah. that was willing to share that knowledge with me. Wow. So I, I, I don't never pat myself on the back. I, I, I never confuse standing with giants to be tall. You know what I'm saying? My dad always told me, just because you stand on the, top, on the shoulders of giants, that doesn't mean you're tall. Mm -hmm. So I got to show the appreciation uh, for the, the Michael Roach, the skip reverend that took a little kid from Opelousa and gave him the game. Now you say you play ball in here or something? Yes, sir. What, what position, coach? Play wide receiver. Play a little wide receiver, so yes, <laughs> if you play wide receiver, y'all ain't running no wing T offense, coach. Nah, coach. We, we throw the ball a little bit down there, <laughs> down in Jaguars. Spread. Day, so we spread that thing out. Yes, sir. We, yes, we, sir. We throw that ball around. So yes, indeed. Coach, um, give me just a assessment of your first year at Baker. Coming in, first year head coach at Baker, yes, and how things went. I had to, I had to kind of step, step back for a second and kind of look at the totality of it. Uh, funny story, I, I didn't get a big job until June. Mm -hmm. So when I first got here, you know, school was up. I didn't get a chance to meet the kids, didn't get a chance to meet the staff or anything like that. It, it was kind of, nobody knew that high. Yeah, coach. yeah. So my first work. You ain't had no coaches meeting over <laughs> no, uh, in May. Nah, and say, we're going to start weightlifting on this day. Didn't get a chance to. Yeah. So my first uh, summer practice, June 6th, coach, we showed up at six kids. <laughs> six kids. So the month of June, because we were between six and eight, but I never cheated the kids. That's it. If you got out your bed at seven thirty in the morning and you came here to work, you gonna work. Co, co. Six kids, I know you're saying. What I got myself into, oh, we got we gonna we got we some got work, work to do. We got work, co, co. I don't look for a student, co. I look for a right. show. All right, let's, all right. Let's get to work. Okay, okay. Because we worked every single day. And that number went from six to eight to twelve to fifteen till week one we had a thirty man run. So how many days before you took over in week one? So we figured out it's 94 days. 94 days. The day from the day I signed on to be the head football coach at Baker to week one, September 1st against McKinney. Week one, not, 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 not jamboree, not scrimmage, but week one. Week one. We ain't so, worried about jamboree and scrimmage. That's, yeah. a, that's dress practice. That's, 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 that's practice. That's practice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We yeah. talking about the product we're going to put on the field. 94, 94 days. days. 94 days. Yeah, okay. So there was a lot of things that I had to kind of swallow as a coach. coach, coach. I have a standard. The yes, standard sir. is the standard. It doesn't bend, it doesn't break, it doesn't fold. Because I'm not been a football coach, I've been a young man. Okay. So I can't wave on 
I'm gonna tell you when a parent gives me the best thing they ever done, which is their kid. Right. No matter what you do, it's the best thing you give this world is your kid. If I don't do my best to make them become a young man, I fail that kid. If mm. they learn from me is football, I fail. I like that. So I gotta make sure that I do. We wear, we wear shirts and ties on Friday. Yeah, yeah. We don't wear jerseys. We wear mm. shirts and ties. It's business. Yeah. I need you to know when you walk into for a business interview or a job interview, anything like that, that shirt and tie not for them to. Right. You know there's a business here. So we have got a culture that we're trying to build here. We had to cram a lot in 90 days. But the kids took to. The kids were excited to wear shirts and ties and dress shoes on Friday. So we, we, we changed the way we lived. We changed the way we talked to each other. We changed the way we bonded in 90 days. And we didn't end the season the way we wanted to. But on the bright side, we had kids that made the audition team. Okay. And I had four young men that were going to have a chance to get free education. Uh, Jordan Edwards, the uh, unanimous first team all district selection in eight games. He ran for 1,200 yards and 13 touchdowns. That's solid. He's going to be signing with Primal College. Yeah. I have uh, Shannon Holiday and Dante Marshall there right now talking with the coach at Southern University about the opportunity to further their athletic and academic career. Okay. And we got Troy Tony, who's another all district kid, who's being uh, looked at by um, Millsaps College. That's all so right. So I'll tell anybody. You tell me I'll sign up for 110, but my senior class get to go to school for free. I sign up all this. So tell me this, tell me this, coach. And this is a question. Young coaches don't get this. And I don't see you being a young coach. If you could win a state championship or you could sign a kid to a scholarship, what's more important? I sign that kid every day of the week. Mm. Every day of the week. I got one of the players I got from Coach uh, Malcolm Roach. Yeah. Defensive tackle for the Saints. Yes. I'm just as proud of him as I am of Brandon Potter, who I coached at Southern Lab. He's a high school football coach and family that he's raised. I'm just as proud of both of those kids because I, I touched those lives their lives. Just because they went different paths of the men, they had a path to free education. They were great young men and great kids. That's what it's all about. That's it. So, Coach, where do you see Baker going in the future? Oh, the sky's the limit, Coach. Yes, sir. I tell them everybody, this is about bad as we going to be. We coming. We <laughs> just know. That's it. All right. And coach, last one. What do you see yourself in the future? From Appaloosa's now. Appaloosa just won state championship, yes, coach. Sir. Yes, sir. What do you see yourself in the future, coach? I'm home, coach. Is you got to deal with me a long time. Yes, sir. I'm home. All right. Yes, sir. Let's get you. Mr. James Dartez. This is Big Coach Little Park on the Big Coach Little Park on-site interview at Baker High. Signing off. <laughs>